Hi everyone. In this video, we'll discuss genital warts. So genital warts are caused by the human papilloma virus HPV. And genital warts are transmitted from direct skin to skin contact with apparent or subclinical lesions. So they might be non-apparent lesions or contact with genital secretions. So direct skin contact or genital secretions. The microabrasions in the recipient skin allows the viral access to the basal cells of the epithelium. Most anogenital warts are caused by HPV types 6 and 11, and infection results in type-specific protection, but whether there is cross-protective immunity is uncertain. The long latent period, just as with herpes, means that the presence of warts in only one partner does not necessarily imply recent infidelity. So the symptoms of genital warts are mainly warty growths in and around genital skin. That causes little discomfort, sometimes maybe itchy, but often the psychological distress is significant, and that is due to cosmetic reasons. There also could be bleeding with urinary stream, and that happens when there are urethral lesions, or there could be bleeding after passage of stool with anal lesions. The urethral lesions are more common in males. As for the anal lesions, they could happen in both. The last symptom is itch, that is mainly in the perianal area. Regarding the complications of genital warts, the most important one is malignancy. It is rare unless associated with oncogenic genotypes. We should also consider referral and or biopsy of atypical lesions or new lesions in the elderly to test for malignancy. Atypical lesions or lesions with variable pigmentation or raised plaque-like lesions, so basically any suspicious lesion should be biopsied to exclude precancerous change in especially patients who are immunocompromised or have HIV infection. Warts can grow rapidly in pregnancy and can only safely be treated with cryotherapy or diathermy during pregnancy. So diagnosis is usually based on visual appearance. If there are atypical lesions, we should consider biopsy, as we mentioned. As for the investigations, a comprehensive STI, sexual transmitted infection testing, may be appropriate depending on the individual patient's sexual history. No specific diagnostic test for HPV is available. Regarding the management of genital warts, the recommended treatment is a patient-applied porophyllotoxin 0.15% cream or 0.5% paint. Topically applied twice a day for three days, then four days off, repeated weekly for four to six cycles until resolution. Now the difference between paint and cream Paint is more suited for use on external, keratinized skin, while cream is best used in perianal area, introidal area, and under the foreskin. Another treatment available is a patient-applied Miquimode 5% cream, topically, three times per week at bedtime. Wash after 6 to 10 hours until resolution, for up to 16 weeks. Other alternative treatment available is a cryotherapy weekly or excision under local anesthetic. Or ablative therapy under general anesthesia.
So in genital warts, the treatment is cosmetic rather than curative. We can advise our patients if warts are in the pubic region to avoid shaving or waxing as they may facilitate local spread by auto-inoculation of HPV into areas of microtrauma. We should provide patients with fact sheet. And genital warts is not a notifiable infection. In cases of complicated or disseminated infection, we should consider referral for laser or diathermy. In cases of meato warts, we should treat with cryotherapy. In cases of intraanal warts, we should also treat with cryotherapy or refer for surgical management. And finally, for cases of cervical warts, we should refer to a gynecologist. And that concludes this video. Thank you very much for watching. Please like this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate your support.